What are we gonna do? Hey guys, Andrew here. Remember that this month I'm giving away an RTX 3060. If you want to enter that giveaway, the link will be down in the description below. What's up guys, Andrew here, My Child Gear Inc., where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today we're talking about gaming in 2022, but specifically because we're getting a little more information about what to expect going into 2022. And there's some things to be very excited about and some things maybe not as great. And as somebody who's been an advocate for waiting until next year to build a gaming computer, I wanna go over some of the things that we're starting to expect. So we already know that we're gonna be getting refreshes of GPUs sometime in quarter one or first half of next year. This is something that I've talked about multiple times. and then. Recently, I've also talked about the fact that there are gonna be new cards from both AMD and Nvidia in the second half of the year, which are supposedly gonna have dramatic performance uplifts over current generation cards. However, as I've stated, these are gonna come at the disadvantage of massive wattage draws, meaning that I understand that these are gonna be flagship cards, kind of enthusiasts, and they'll be like more power efficient cards like down the stack. 400 watts, maybe 450 watts for some of these GPUs is a pretty big ask, especially if you're you know out there building a gaming computer. On top of that, we've got some new information for DDR5. So you guys who don't know, we are ending DDR4 this year. DDR5 will become the standard in 2022. Um, starting with some potentially, uh, you know, kind of lead in from Intel at the end of this year with their new um, 10 nanometer CPU, so at least for desktop. That being said, it was originally assumed that there was gonna be some overlap where you'd be able to take DDR4 memory, put it in kind of like the first chipset from Intel and AMD uh, if you didn't wanna use DDR5. Although that's maybe not the case now as they show that DDR5 is gonna have dramatically different power requirements as much as 1.6 volts to hit the speeds that they're gonna try and hit with these guys. And then the power isn't being drawn from the motherboard. Apparently it's gonna be on the RAM module itself. What that means is a redesign of the power delivery system that may not be compatible compatible with DDR4. So you may not be able to take your current generation sticks and stick them in as there were some rumors about that being potentially possible. Anytime you're talking about new chipsets, new architecture, you know, you're talking about basically having to pay back R&D on all this stuff. So I expect that DDR5 is going to be very expensive and these new GPUs just as well and not even necessarily if we're in the same type of you know gpu mining crunch we've been in with inflated costs and scalpers and all that stuff and what that also means is that higher end power supplies are going to become much more common in more gaming systems because remember ideally you want to stay between about 60 to 70 percent of your total psu's total available power if you want to maintain the efficiency curve so knowing that do i still believe that you should wait until next year to build a gaming computer yes I'm an enthusiast. I'm the guy who pays through his teeth to get the newest, latest stuff because I'm the tech FOMO guy when it comes to me personally building computers and getting the latest and greatest stuff. That's not you, that's not most people. Even if this new technology comes out, remember this is gonna be kind of the lead in and there are going to be reiterations which will make this technology cheaper and you know, lower performing stuff down the stack that will still be, I'm sure, very, very good performers overall. And for people who don't wanna buy the latest thing, you could always buy last gen for less money. Although remember, you are gonna be locked into that ecosystem because DDR4, DDR5, like we're making that jump with the chipset. So that's a decision you're gonna to have to make. And hopefully with things like Ethereum going to the 2.0 where it's going to be staked, meaning you're not gonna be able to mine it, interest in mining will go down to the point where GPU pricing will become normalized and we can finally get back to doing what we love on my channel and people like me, building computers, buying new systems, upgrading your current system, gaming computer stuff, just in general. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If it was terrible, leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed, hit that bell icon so you know when these videos drop next. I'm gone this week for vacation. I'll be back next weekend. Remember to enter the giveaway if you haven't already, and I'm gonna continue to make these videos whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do, and I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Geared Inc.